I am Yen Xinxi from University of Helsinki. It is my honor to introduce our work about satellite imagery representation learning by leveraging point of interest. At first, we introduce about satellite images. Satellite images depict the Earth's surface from a bird's eye perspective, providing comprehensive data for various applications, such as land cover monitoring. Because satellite images show the ground objects with high spatial resolution, they are also used to infer the social economic status in recent work. Compared to traditional data sources, such as field surveys, satellite imagery is collected in a more time and cost efficient manner and provides enormous potential for timely monitoring of land cover and human activities on a large scale. In recent years, combining satellite images with current advances in computer vision and deep learning, previous studies have successfully used satellite imagery to classify land use, predict commercial activities, and infer economic status. These achievements were made by task-specific supervised learning, which requires massive label data for training. But in most applications, obtaining a large volume of high-quality annotated data is extremely difficult. In general, satellite imagery delivers large amount of information, but a lack of labels makes many downstream applications difficult to implement. Therefore, to reduce the need for labeled data, the research community has turned to unsupervised representation learning for satellite images. The majority of existing studies follow Tobler's first law of geography. It states that everything is related to everything else, but near things are more related than distant things. In other words, geographically adjacent satellite images are more likely to have similar meanings and thus have similar representations. In uninhabited regions, this law works well. But the law does have deficiencies in human inhabited areas, because human inhabited areas are substantially altered by human activities. For example, two human inhabited regions might have different land uses and configurations, even though they are geographic neighbors. So human activity is very important in describing the surrounding areas in urban regions. To bridge this gap, some studies incorporated human efforts into their representation learning framework by having experts annotate a small set of satellite images as urban, rural, and uninhabited, and then distilling knowledge from this annotated dataset. Notably, such a method is still time consuming and to some extent limits the performance by being sensitive to annotation quality. Therefore, in this work, we aim to learn compressed yet informative representations containing human activity factors for unlabeled satellite imagery. We also envision new web-based services enabled by machine learning and data fusion to provide insights regarding socioeconomic status and human behavior. In, in the meantime, we advance web technologies by contributing a new machine learning method for combining web accessible data such as point of interest data and satellite imagery. To achieve those goals, there are three challenges. The first challenge is how to depict and capture information about human activity factors in satellite imagery. The second challenge is how to develop a framework for introducing human factor features into the satellite imagery representation learning process. And the third challenge is to figure out how to combine the features of human activity information and the geographic information in an auto-adaptive manner to produce better representations. Before we address those challenges, we first introduce the datasets. We collect the satellite imagery and the PI data from Beijing and uh, to, to evaluate the effectiveness of the learned representations. We collect the social economic data, including commercial indicators and the demographic indicators. The commercial indicator is represented by the number of online comments and the number of takeaway orders, while the demographic indicator includes population and population density. We map the PI data and the social economic indicators into the satellite images and show the spatial distribution of each social economic indicator. From the visualization result, we can see that 
the QI data and socioeconomic indicators cover most of the satellite images in Beijing. Now we began by conducting a preliminary investigation into the correlations between the number of each QI category and the socioeconomic indicators. This table displays the result with the top three QI categories for each socioeconomic indicator colored in blue from darkest to lightest. We can observe that the QI data, especially some QI categories such as layer and sport, life service, and restaurant are highly correlated with social economic indicators. Then based on the preliminary study, we address those three challenges based on three key designs. The first challenge is how to depict and capture information about human activity factors in satellite imagery. To resolve that challenge, we use the POI data to capture the nature of human activity factors. POI data can reflect human activity in a given region. For example, if a region has lots of restaurants, this suggests that many people are dining in this region. The second challenge is to introduce human factor features into the satellite imagery representation learning process. We propose to design a contrastive learning model to take advantage of PI data that supports learning representations of unlabeled satellite images. We first measure the similarity across all satellite image, images in the PI domain and uh, learn common features between the PI similar images. The third challenge is to combine the features of human activity information and geographic information in an auto-adaptive manner. To resolve that challenge, we design an attentional theorem model that can adaptively field representations from two different perspectives. In this way, the importance of different perspectives in predicting social economic indicators can be automatically learned. So in this page, we present the overview of our proposed framework. To achieve the goal of learning informative representations containing human activity from unlabeled satellite imagery, we propose the representation learning process and to assess the performance of the learned representations to predict various kinds of social economic indicators. We use the evaluation process. Specifically, we first construct contrastive samples for satellite images with similar PI distribution and for geographic adjacent images. And then we design a contrastive learning model to extract the informative representation from the satellite image in order to adaptively combine the representation from two different perspectives, we propose an attentional theorem model in the evaluation process. Now we illustrate the first part, constructing contrastive samples. Contrastive samples are the image pairs that are used to train the contrastive learning model. And they either have similar PI configurations or they are geographic neighbors. To construct the similar POI pair for each satellite image, we define a POI vector with each dimension representing the number of each POI category. And those satellite images with the least POI distance are considered to be the most similar satellite images in POI domain. We also select for each satellite image the geographically most adjacent image, which is the one nearest neighbor satellite image in geographic space. Now, until this step, we have the similar POI satellite images and the geographically adjacent satellite image pairs. And then we introduce the contrastive learning model. The contrastive learning model maximizes the representation similarity of the satellite images from the same pair. And it also enlarges the representation dissimilarity of the satellite images from different pairs. In this work, the model is separated into PI view model and the geographic view model. The former is based on the similar PI satellite images and the latter is based on the geographically adjacent satellite images. We use the representation of the final layer, the CNN for the downstream task. And in this model, 
we select the normalized temperature scale cross entropy loss to calculate the similarity loss. And now for each satellite image, we have geographic view representation and the pure view representation. The two representations are from different modalities and the importance of the representation in estimating different socioeconomic indicators is unknown. So we add an attentional theorem model before the final prediction layer. The attention model can be divided into three steps. First, we calculate the weights of each representation, and then we use the softmax function to normalize the weights. At last, we use the weighty sum of those two kinds of representations to get the final representation for each satellite imagery. To evaluate the effectiveness of our methods in estimating social economic indicators, we use the following baselines. The first three baselines are classical feature extractors. The Resna 18 model is a deep learning model trained on natural images. We use it as the feature extractor to show the limitations of directly applying a model trained on natural images to satellite images. Tile to work is a geography based method which follows the first law of geography. The RAD method is a semi supervised model. It is trained on a small subset of human labeled satellite images and a large number of unlabeled images. The last three methods are variations of our method. Now we show the overall comparison results. The best performance is in both phases. We also underline the best baseline method, except from variations of our method. We can see our method with the attentional theorem model combining human activity information and the geographic information outperforms all the baseline representations when predicting various kinds of social economic indicators. Now, in this slide, we show a case study of our method. We map the PI view representations into a two-dimensional space, and then we realize how the satellite images of different social economic indicators are located in the representation space. We first select six anchor points as shown in the figure and display the corresponding satellite images. From those satellite images, we can see the development status increases from anchor point one to six. Then we use the population data of each satellite image to verify our analysis. We see the population also increases from anchor point one to six. Therefore, we can conclude that our proposed PYVU model can learn highly informative representations containing human factors from unlabeled satellite images. Then we show the experiment results of the generalization ability test of our proposed model. We conduct experiments with another well-developed city that is Shanghai and an underdeveloped city that is Shenyang in China. We began by applying the trained model on Beijing to the satellite images of Shanghai and Shenyang, and then we use the representations of the satellite images to predict the corresponding social economic indicators of those two cities. We can see from this table that even these two cities are with different levels of economic development. Our contrastive learning method with an attentional model still outperform the baseline in predicting the social economic indicators. Then in this slide, we verify whether the learned representations can be used to depict the similarity between two regions. We randomly select three satellite images of Beijing with varying populations and then compute the cosine similarity between the representations of the selected images and all the images of Shanghai. Then we show the satellite images of Shanghai with high cosine similarity. From this visualization result, we can conclude that our learned representation can find similar regions across different cities with high performance. 
To conclude, in this work, we use the PY data to capture the human activity factor in satellite imagery representation. We also design a contrastive learning-based framework to combine the PY data and the satellite imagery in representation learning. At last, we construct an attentional fusion model to fuse the PY view representations and the geographic view representations of satellite image images. Thanks for listening. Any questions? Thank you very much. Sorry, I, I just got a call. My sorry. sorry for this. Thank you very much for the for the, for the video. Uh, and you're available for questions, Jensen, right? Here we go. Okay. Hello, Jensen. Uh, can you Hi. hear me? Oh uh, yes. Oh uh, yeah. I I have a small question. Uh. Did you consider the effects of two factors? Uh, the first one is the uh, uh, spatial resolution of the satellite images. Uh, and the second one is uh, uh, the categories of POI data. Um, thank you, that's a very good question. Um, actually, we, we are doing some research about the spatial effects of spatial resolutions and the POI category. And uh, at now we found that um, some PY categories are really important in the in the representation learning process. But uh, some PY categories, uh, I don't know whether because it, their number is very small, so they don't show many effects in the final prediction process. And uh, for this. For the spatial resolutions, um, because you know, uh, satellite images with different spatial resolution, they contain different area. So that's indirectly um, affect the number of PI data in that region. And uh, at now, I think the best, maybe the best spatial resolution for the satellite images would be between would be about um, five and 12 meters. I think oh, it will be around that. Thank you.